Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakwa Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an e-book on Amazon, Kindle, or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakwa has been sharing a powerful and insightful teaching titled How to Have a Successful Fast. Today he shares a common deception that many Christians fall prey to when it comes to fasting and prayer. Let's join in. That's the sharing on how to fast successfully. The mistake that some Christians make is that we assume that once we are fasting and praying, it means that God is listening to our prayer. Nothing could be further from the truth. Now, if you don't understand that fasting and prayer is not necessarily equal to answer prayer, you become frustrated because you believe that anytime you fast and pray, you must receive an answer. Why? A lack of knowledge. That's what is killing you. Isaiah 513, it says, therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. They are my people, they are Christians, they pay tithes, but they will still go into captivity if they have no knowledge. So what are the rules concerning prayer? We read Matthew chapter 6, verse 16. Jesus said, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily, I say to you, they have your reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto your father who seeth in secret, and your father who seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So what are the rules? Rule number one is you must understand the judgment of God. That's what is the judgment of God. In other words, how God assesses or judges things. I gave you three examples. In 1 Corinthians 4, 5, Paul said, Therefore, judge nothing before the time, until the Lord comes, who will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and make manifest the counsels of the heart. Here, Paul was talking about judgment. And he spoke about three principles. Oh, he said three things about the judgment of God. He said God will use light. And I said light stands for God's word. Example number two, he will judge hidden things. Things that nobody knows, only you know. There are thoughts in our minds nobody knows. Things we do in secret, nobody knows. Only you know. But he says, God's assessment will be based on all hidden things as well. Then example number three, is said, the counsels of the heart. God will judge your heart. Principle number two, hypocrites. Matthew 6, 16. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites. Jesus said, when a hypocrite fast and prays, God doesn't listen to his prayer. God does not listen to his prayer. That word hypocrite is a Greek word which means an actor. When you watch a film, the person is acting a part. Who he is in the film is not who he is in real life. Ask your neighbor, who are you in real life? Ask your neighbor, you, who are you? It doesn't matter how hard you fast. If you live the double life, Jesus said, I will not answer that prayer. It's as simple as that. 
be not as the hypocrites. And I said, one mark of a hypocrite is that Jesus said, hypocrites are selective in their obedience. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Matthew 23, 23. You pay tithe of mint, anise, and cummins. These were spices. But you have omitted, the word is omitted, the weightier matters of the law. Judgment, mercy, and faith. So the problem with hypocrites, Jesus said, hypocrites omit. They are selective. Maybe they pay their tithes. But after tithe, they are just like unbelievers. Ask me, are you a hypocrite? Look, you can go for a thousand days prayer. Even your tongue will be someone sort on the floor. Look, nothing will happen. You are deceiving yourself. So a lot of people who are praying, look, they are deceived. It's a waste of your time. Hypocrite. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Job 13, 15. Then he said, a hypocrite will not come before him. So as for hypocrites, God doesn't like hypocrites. At all. Thanks for joining us. Please join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, Dear Pastor, I ask you to pray for me concerning the fruit of the womb. You prayed for me. Some days after the prayer, I didn't feel too well, so I decided to do a pregnancy test. Lo and behold, I was positive. I have taken seed. It's my prayer that God who gave me this miracle will see me through the nine months journey. The message you just heard is available on the Kakrabaden Air Power app. Download the Kakrabaden Air Power app on Google Play Store or the App Store. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.